A grassroots effort started right here in Oregon is helping solve one of the biggest problems our frontline heroes are facing. Healthcare workers and makers joined up to fill the world's rapidly dwindling stock of personal protective equipment. Morgan Romero shows us how. Uh, I just have a, a golf shop that happens to be right in downtown Grants Pass. And so this is normally used as a golf simulator. So we play golf right there every morning. Me and my one employee play golf, but now it is the headquarters for COVID skunk works, at least the coordination side of things. Brad Converse, an engineer by trade, put together COVID skunk works last Sunday after talking to a Southern Oregon hospital supply chain director. So within less than 24 hours, we had 35 local experts on the phone where we heard directly from the hospital, what is actually the problem? What do you guys need? And then starting the very next day, we were already delivering face shields. Uh, by now, we have over 150 experts worldwide coordinating on this effort, and we've already delivered the, the face shield instructions to the world. Face shields to shelter healthcare workers from airborne droplets are just the first piece. We weren't going to be getting those for quite a while, if at all, waiting on the government or waiting on big business to step in, but now our garages and our schools are doing it and we are protecting our own health care. Directions for designing physician approved N95 masks, ventilator parts, filters, gowns are next. Instructions we provided will allow for millions of face shields and other parts to be printed right at the source um, as much as possible. All vetted by engineers, physicists, doctors. Exactly. That's that's what our repository is. Uh, we're putting together, um, you know, there, there's still some regulatory hurdles just with doctors making sure that they can keep their job, but they're working directly with senators to get the approval to be able to say that they are on board with this. So uh, we're tackling this from every angle possible. Together with those experts, Converse created a logistical package tied up in a bow with instructions 3D printer users can follow. So that the hospital, rather than just saying, we don't know who you are and why you're doing this, they can go to covidskunkworks.com, see all of the documentation for why it works. The makers can go on there and know exactly how to make it and assemble it. The sanitization team knows exactly how to sanitize it prior to use. The reuse team knows how to sanitize it between uses and how many uses it's good for. A patchwork of selfless people working together to try to control some of the chaos and help our frontline heroes. It's sobering, but at least you can hear some hope in their voice. And they know that we're doing everything we can to at least make sure that they're protected as they do the frontline work. The FDA says 3D printed PPE may not have the same level of fluid barrier protection or air filtration as FDA cleared gear. But Converse would argue their designs are up to par. Morgan Romero, KGW News.